abstract data types. An abstract data type is a relatively new concept for describing the internal organization and functionality of data structures. It is meant to combine the description of a data structure and the set of operations that can be performed on the data elements. More precisely, an abstract data type, commonly referred to as ADT, has the following characteristics. Number 1. It provides a description in terms of data types of all data elements that make up a collection. Number 2. It defines the relationship that exists between individual elements. Number 3. It groups together all the valid operations that can be performed on the data elements and parameters that can be passed. Number 4. It specifies error condition in particular operation, if any, that may be associated with the operations. Consider, for example, the data structure stack, which we defined earlier. In order to construct ADT stack, we would need to specify at least two basic operations called push and pop. Push will add an item to a stack and pop will remove it. Other auxiliary operations might be Top will return a copy of the top element without removing it from the stack. Size operation returns number of items currently stored in stack and is empty returns true or false accordingly as stack contains at least one data element or contain more. The set of operations included in an abstract data structure is called an interface. It would follow that the elements of data structure can be manipulated only through the interface. Suppose in a program we want to access the elements of ADT stack. The program should send the request to the data structures via the interface. It can get the requested element through the interface. This is shown on the screen. It is emphasized that the operations and data items in an abstract data type are all hidden from the user. A program cannot modify the operations nor can it add new operations to the data structure. It will be seen that all built-in primitive data types are in fact abstract data types. For example, primitive float represents a range of real numbers on which we can perform basic arithmetic operations. However, we cannot add any new operation such as exponentiation to the predefined float type. Also, we cannot enhance or modify the range of values allowed by the built-in primitive float in any particular language. It should be noted that abstract data types does not specify how the data structure and associated operations would be coded in a particular program. It also does not describe what storage structure should be used, that is, whether the data elements are stored in consecutive memory cell or in disjoint areas. In other words, abstract data structures do not provide the implementation details. The user can choose any of the several available options. For example, an ADT stack may be implemented using an array or a linked list. In a software module, ADT can be viewed as a layer between the application that uses ADT and a component that implements the ADT. This is shown on the screen. The interface of ADT remains the same regardless how the data structure and operations are actually performed. Some of the high-level languages such as C, C++ and Java have built-in features which can be used to implement a variety of ADTs. C has built-in struct type which together with other user-defined functions can facilitate the implementation of an ADT. In C++, a class construct is available for the implementation of ADT. 
the class constructor creates a new ADT object. The operators can be implemented through public methods. In Java, an ADT can be expressed as interface, which is essentially an abstraction of associated operations provided by ADT. Advantages of ADT The abstract data types have several advantages over the conventional data structures. They are reusable, robust and consistent with well-established principles of object-oriented programming and software engineering. An abstract data type can be reused at several places in a program or in different programs. The reusability of an ADT simplifies the program design and reduces coding efforts. In abstract data type, the implementation of operations and data items are hidden from the user. Thus, encapsulation ensures that the data cannot be inadvertently corrupted by program. Further, the working of various operations integrated into an abstract data type cannot be tampered by a program. Thus, an ADT ensures a robust data structure. Finally, the ADT approach is based on the software engineering concepts of coupling and cohesion. The coupling property determines how strongly two separate parts of a program module are mutually linked together and the extent to which a change made in one part has impact on other parts. A well-designed software has a minimum coupling of program segments. An ADT promotes weak coupling because any change in the program or coding does not propagate to any of the components of an ADT. Cohesion property determines how well integrated are the components of a piece of software. Software engineering prescribes that good designs should maximize cohesion. An ADT inherently promotes maximum cohesion in that the ADT components are well integrated into a single compact structure. 